What's up guys, Headphone Neil here, back with another, or back with a micro review of sorts, in that I wanted to give a quick review for the Star Wars micro series um, Clone Wars that they packaged into two um, seasons but were originally um, individual, basically micro episodes of like 5 to 10 minutes each. So I recently watched them on Disney Plus where they were re-released and overall I want to say that on one hand while the stories were great, or not really great, but the stories were nice and packaged very nicely. The graphics don't hold up, but in general, overall, were very enjoyable. So for me, watching them now, you can see how much more the Clone Wars by Dave Filoni were an improvement with the story arcs and graphics and presentation of it, and expanded on some of the storylines we see here, but could have been, or, or other stories could have been expanded as well. So um, of note, in the first season we are introduced to a character called dirge who is angry at malandalorians and ultimately gets trained by them um cybernetic enhancements and things like that so kind of a precursor to general grievous and darth vader but in this series he felt more like a um follow-up to them kind of like merging the best of both of them with his regenerative skills and abilities and anger and all of that so kind of um, uh, Vader with Grievous's um, cybernetics, so more maneuverability and speed and power and all of that, where Vader was more restrictive but had the force on his side. Um, we're also introduced to General Grievous, where so I want to say this might have come before Revenge of the Sith, but I actually didn't look it up. But overall, we or we get an introduction to Grievous's power and why he's the scourge of the Jedi, so overall a good presentation there. Um, otherwise, the first season is basically notable for presenting more storylines with the Jedi, the Clone Wars as a whole, and generally just expanding on the idea of the Clone Wars as being a galactic scale uh, conflict. Um, the second season provides a little bit more uh, granularity in that we get to see um, Anakin's knighting ceremony. So. That's one thing that I would have kind of wanted to see or would have preferred to or liked to have seen in Dave Filoni's um, Clone Wars series towards the end where he, or not even towards the end, at some point in there where he gets knighted. So that impact with, um, or that interaction between him and Obi-Wan and then uh, Padme getting the gift. I think they bring up um, Padme giving R2 to Anakin because they work well together and R2 can watch his back and that sort of thing But I don't think it was in the scope of the knighting ceremony But even regardless of how um, R2 and Anakin work closer together. I would have liked to see the knighting ceremony um, I would have liked to also see or otherwise in the second season. I did like Master Tin um, he gets um, a little bit more screen time, but I one thing I liked about him was his armor because he looked a lot like the Doom Cyber Demon. So I kind of wanted also wanted to see more of that, maybe in the Clone Wars by Dilly Filoni. But overall, I just like the impression they. Overall, I liked the artwork that they had for him. So it would have been nice to see more of that. Um, later on. I'm sure they did it at some point with some other characters as far as armor and stuff like that goes, but um, specifically on him would have been interesting. Um, otherwise, j jumping towards the end of the second season, the siege and battle of Coruscant was overall pretty noteworthy in that there was one scene where we have a clone trooper going nuts on a bunch of um, droids. And it remind, or the way they did the artwork reminded, and the um, animation of it reminded me a lot of the cover art for the Doom video game. So I, that kind of makes me want to go in and see if there is a Doom or a clone trooper, trooper skin for Doom to see if someone remade um, the Clone Wars or the, all the Doom worlds, but with a. Uh, um, the Star Wars interface, which would be kind of cool, even if it's the same uh, weapons, but just all Star Wars with a Star Wars look. Um, other next up, though, um, when we have Mace Windu fighting through the city and taking out all the various droids and the droid uh, flying droids and droid ships and all of that, that made me think that he could have survived the fall 
from the Senate, from Palpatine's office um, after their fight and Anakin cuts off his arm and all of that. So um, it makes me think that because of the aerial acrobatics that Mace Window did in this series that he could have fallen out the window and ultimately fallen on some speeder and um, he could have saved his life and he could have gone in, ultimately gone into hiding or something could have happened where he ultimately survives. Why he didn't come out of hiding um, dur later on in life when, during, when uh, after um, Luke came out of or, or Luke was found but maybe um, he was part of the effort to um, build a rebellion and he didn't want to be known or uh, maybe he died of old age, I don't know, but it would, it, it gives me hope that we could find, or we could have a TV show where we have the tales of Mace Windu or the legend of Mace Windu or something along those lines where we hear more of his story after his fall and he survived and what he did, um, maybe leading into A New Hope or what he did after that, maybe he gives up the life of the Jedi, but, um, and does what Ahsoka does where she, li where he lives, uh, um, outside of the system but still wants to help and doesn't return just because he doesn't want to be drawn into that conflict for his ultimate failure by being a jedi and failing the republic or something like that um and then finally my last point is that the clone wars by dave filoni i feel should have ended with this actual siege of coruscant with by basically animating the Grievous attacking Coruscant, the whole uh, rescue scene by uh, Shakti and the other two Jedi by of trying to get Palpatine into the bunker, uh, Grievous ultimately besting them with his droids and um, escaping to the ship, and then um, all of Yoda's and Windu's uh, heroes and acrobatics with the patrol troopers, and then finally um, with. Um, Anakin and Obi-Wan hearing about the um, kidnapping and then wanting to go save him, which I think they did that last part where Anakin and um, Obi-Wan received the message of the siege, but they didn't show the actual siege, so that's something that I kind of would have wanted to see so that we could have a more modern look and feel and animation style to see how that would have looked. Um, more than what we saw in his series. So the animation and uh, preparation in this series was fine, but to have the more 3D look and feel of the Clone Wars by Dave Filoni would have made it that much better. So that's all there is for this particular review. So I just wanted to get a quick review out. So share my thoughts and feelings on it so if you want to get in touch with me and um provide your own feedback commentary or, or anything like that you can find me on twitter at patel n01 the website is headphonesneal.reviews for uh, past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff um but that is all for this particular review thanks for tuning in and until next time